can one golf lesson immediately improve your golf game? That's what we're answering today. Here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna play nine holes today just to get a baseline, see what my score is. I'm gonna get a lesson then on Monday and then I'm gonna play around after the lesson, another nine holes um, and see what I score there and see if it improves, see if it gets worse. I don't know, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. Playing nine holes today at Overlook, front nine. Let's, uh, let's get our baseline here. I'm gonna try and keep all the variables pretty much the same. Um, I'm gonna try and wear the same shoes. Uh, obviously I'm using the same equipment. Basically the only outside variable is gonna be the golf lesson. So that's what we're really testing out. Had to scramble a little bit that hole, but we're even through one. Bogey on the second hole, so we're one over now through two. All right, another bogey, so two over through three. Hole number four, just part it. So now we're sitting still, two over through four. Another bogey there on hole number five. We are three over through five. Par three, went a little long, had to chip back on. Ended up one putting though, up and down for par. Uh, so we're still three over through six. Bogey that last par four. We're four over through seven right now. Hole number nine, last hole here. We are currently four over. I'd like to par this. I'm in a bad spot right now. I'm behind a tree. We'll see how this goes. All right, so first nine's done. We got our baseline. We shot a five over 40, which honestly, I'm kind of happy with. It's not that bad. Right around that 80 mark, that's kind of typically where I'm at. All right, so we got our baseline. Let's go get a lesson and see if we can improve it. It's lesson time. We're getting a lesson from my man, my man, Chris Conklin. I actually met him the other day on the range. Struck up a little conversation. Asked him if he'd be willing to give me a lesson. We, we exchanged info and here we are. Yeah, whatever wedge you want to start a Always, always when you come out to practice, yeah. this is a practice range. It's not a driving range. Mm. I mean, you watch the Masters this week. They're gonna, they're gonna have, they're gonna, their wedge game and their putter is gonna be yeah. on fire, and that's how they're gonna win, you know, major. Also, shout out, shout out to the Masters. We got the yeah, it's Masters week. We got the Masters gear on, patrons only. <laughs> oh, now we go. How you do now is warm up, okay. and I want you to work. I want you to tell me what your routine is. Okay to make the ball go from point A to point B, and I never say the word H-I-T mm. as a swing. Right. I like it. Beautiful. All I want you to feel is when you're warming up is these round things is feel like you want to hit it 50, 60 yards. Okay. My swings are always on film here, so people in the comments are always. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, ripping me apart. All good stuff. It's good stuff. stuff. Let's not have our feet perpendicular to our target line. Yep. Here's our target line. Let's open up the feet just a hair yep. to help rotation through. Yep. All right, so let's talk about grip pressure. So we got 80% of our grip pressure is in the pinky ring middle finger of our left hand. Okay. And then we grip with our ring finger, middle finger of our right, and then just lay that lifeline into the thumb. Never want to get purple. No purple. No purple. So on a scale from zero being the softest, ten being the firmest, I want to grip pressure of about a three. Good. Good. And a good, good swing. Yeah. That shoulder, when you get to the top, rather than going working, feeling this, you just that shoulder goes this way. Three things I always teach as far as a swing. Okay. You have to have a one piece takeaway. And then from the belt above is upper body, from the belt below is lower body. Okay. So we swing, bring that club back to my hand. Good. So we get past here, past your right leg. And we want arms and shoulders and club to go back together. Okay. And if we have a ball there, the club face is still staring at the ball. Okay. The club head is outside your hands. Yep. There's been no wrist set. And the left arm and the shaft of the club are basically a parallel line. Okay. And the back of your left hand and the face of the club are parallel. Now all we want to do is take our shoulder turn and take our thumbs to the sky. So then we're going to get up here. Relax your elbow. Okay. So we get up here. This left arm and the shaft of the club. Left arm is parallel to the ground. Yep. And the left arm and shaft of the club are what angle? 90 degrees. You got it. Yes, sir. That's big math guy. Never let this collapse or you'll lose power. Okay. So when we get here, 
okay? You're the, we're the hands of a clock. Your head's 12, your feet are six. Yeah. At this point, the shaft, we want to be about one o'clock. Okay. Goes through your shoulder. This is steep. We never want steep. We always want shallow. Okay. Shallow and the butt end of the club, when we start our lower body, points to the ball. Right. So we have upper body now. Now we're gonna rotate the pockets. So we, the right pocket went back on your backswing. Yep. Now the rotation of the body, your right pocket is gonna start our downswing, is gonna move up here. Yep. And the left pocket's gonna go back. So we're gonna have rotation. The club pulls down, the ball gets in the way. We come up here, up here. Right hip is here. Hands next to our left ear, belt and chest are facing the target. And if we're someone standing behind us, we always want to show them the bottom of our right shoe. Good. Shout out to my man, Chris, for the golf lesson. Uh, if you're in the Lancaster area and you're looking for a golf lesson, I'm going to throw his info in the description below. So check him out. But now we're going out to play our second nine. I got three takeaways from the lesson that I'm going to now try and implement. Uh, number one is grip pressure. So I definitely grip the club way too tight. Number two is my swing path. I definitely need to get more shallow. You saw what I'm talking about it there. I kind of come over the top. Number three, um, I got to swing lighter. I'm going to try and swing lighter, swing about like 80%, kind of just let the club do the work. So I think if we implement all those things, we should be able to shoot less than what we did last time, which was five overs. So let's get right to it. Uh, right now, I just played the first hole. We are even through one. Still chilling even through two. We're off to a better start than we were last week for our uh, our baseline round. So we're already seeing improvements here. Only two holes in. If my man Chris is watching this right now, Chris, I think your lesson helped. I'm trying to keep my swing just nice and easy right now. That's kind of my swing thought. Nice and easy light grip pressure, um, and I think it's helping. All right, so we are currently two over through five. We're on pace, and plus three through six right now. What's really killing me is putting. Had a little bit of an implosion there on hole number seven, had a, uh, a triple bogey. So right now we're sitting at six over. Definitely gonna have to birdie one of these last two holes. We got ourselves a little birdie putt here on eight. Probably a must make, the next hole's like kind of long, so I'm not typically gonna birdie that hole. See if we can make this and then par the next one to at least stay on pace with what we were shooting before. All right, so last hole here. Currently chilling it at five over, so technically on pace with our uh, our baseline round. <laughs> second round also ended at five over. So I guess I guess technically my score didn't improve the second round. It was the same. But I did implode. I had a triple bogey on number seven. So you cut that out of there. Maybe I bogey that. Um, obviously my score is better just from like a pure like ball striking standpoint mentally just how I felt on the course Honestly, like fairways hit greens hit um, I definitely played a lot better than I did last week and I'm gonna be honest going into it I didn't know if a lesson would really help that much like one lesson But as far as like one lesson improving your game immediately, I, I think it really does I, I really do um, I would definitely say one lesson can improve your golf game immediately